guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Levi and this is Imperfect Builds. Today we're going to be doing some crucial Ender 3 upgrades that are going to save you on time and help you get perfect print results every time. So stay tuned, let's get to it. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Let's go. Here's the new Ender 3 build plate from Creality. Alright guys, so we're wiping down the base aluminum plate with some alcohol and a rag just to make sure that magnet sticks nice and tight to the uh, aluminum. So we're going to make sure we get both these corners lined up here in the front. And then once we got both corners lined up and everything looks good, we're going to slowly start to press this magnet down. Now once you line this magnet up, you need to make sure that the plate sticks on it the right way. Because if you stick this magnet on backwards, the plate will actually force itself to want the left or the right side, whichever the polars of the magnet uh, that it wants to slide to so make sure you know which side is the front of the magnet that's important so once we get this laid down you want to make sure there's no air bubbles in it so once you've got the magnet stuck go ahead and put your build plate on it and now we're ready to move on to the build plate springs here's the kit that you can order on amazon it comes with four aluminum knobs and four brand new bed springs that are the stiffer ones not the stock ones that come on the uh, ender 3 bed so first what you're going to want to do, get everything laid out in front of you, all the, uh, everything that's in your packaging, get it open, get it laid out in front of you so you know what you have. Go ahead and take off the knobs on the front of the build plate, which I already got one of the knobs off. I was a little ahead of the game here. All right, so you can also loosen the knobs on the back of the build plate as well, or even just take them off. Um, and then you're going to just gently lift up on the front of the build plate and slide it out of the bracket and then pull your springs out. All right, so the new springs are these yellow looking ones. You're just gonna lift up, do the same thing in reverse, lift it up, slide the spring in, and then you're gonna move to the next side and slide the other spring on as well. All right, so now we're gonna screw on the new aluminum knobs. Just get them started, get them screwed on, and you don't gotta get them tight, just get them ran up so that the build plate doesn't come off on you when you go to do the back. All right, so now we're on the back, guys. Uh, it's kind of tight. I would slide the build plate as far forward as you can or If you can get to it from behind you can also slide it to the very back It was just easier for me to slide it forward because my table is up against the wall So we got the knob off and then we're gonna move to the other side and take the other knob off and This is where it's gonna get tricky. This is just an example of how loose these springs are compared to the new ones I mean the new ones are way tighter way more firm you're gonna have to level your bed a whole lot less all right guys so here's where it's gonna get tricky you're gonna take the clip off the wires that heat the build plate and then you're gonna take a pair of clippers and clip the zip tie off of that uh external cover as well so you can slide the wires up and slide that clip down because the wires are gonna stay connected to the build plate as you lift it up and that clip is gonna stay at the bottom as you see here. So once we lift it up, we're gonna take the spring out, make sure that clip gets put back into place when you put the new spring on. So we got the new spring into position, we're getting it back into that clip and back through the bracket that holds the build plate to the printer. All right, so once you got all the knobs on in the back, you're ready to put the clip back onto the wires and then get yourself a zip tie. All right, now zip tie that clip back down on the wires, keep it nice and tight. And then you're gonna take yourself a pair of clippers again, and you're just gonna clip the excess off the zip tie. That way you have nothing hanging out, hanging around. All right, guys, so here it is completed with the build plate, the new knobs, new springs. It looks absolutely fantastic. All right, guys, so that's gonna be it for the Ender 3 upgrade video. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, stay tuned. Subscribe, please, because we have awesome projects coming. As you can see behind me, we have the Bane mask, the Bo-Katan helmet, the Iron Man helmet, and then we got another Mando helmet on the way. I got the uh, the Mudhorn Mando fight helmet above me here. You can't really see it, but definitely stay tuned. We got some awesome projects coming. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Help me out. Let's grow the channel together. Let's figure out our imperfections together one step at a time and don't forget nothing's perfect.